Like every science, biological psychology uses a variety of approaches to uncover how the body works. Many are used in combinations, but for simplicity, let's limit ourselves to the top 10 methods of biological psych. Aristotle studied chicken embryos and observed that their hearts developed first. From this, he concluded that the heart was the center of the soul, thinking, and emotion. This was in keeping with the ancient view that blood and life were synonymous. About 500 years later, Galen agreed that Aristotle had the correct organ, but argued that his methodology had been wrong. Galen recommended dissection. Dissection is the detailed analysis of a structure by cutting it into smaller, discrete segments. Franz Gall's phrenology gives us a good example of correlation. He studied the bumps in the head and tried to match them with the mental abilities of people. He thought of the brain as a muscle that gets bigger the more it is used. As it gets bigger, it would push out on the skull. So if you map the topography of the skull, you'd know from the outside what was going on on the inside. Napoleon Bonaparte had heard of Gaulle's phrenology and selected Jean-Pierre Florenz to prove if Gaulle's claims were true. Using rabbits and pigeons, Florenz ablated, destroyed, a portion of the brain and observed the effect. He removed an area and then watched to see if the rabbit still hopped. There are two experimental designs that are typical of developmental research. Children can be measured over their lives. This longitudinal design requires a huge investment in time and money. It's expensive to measure people every year for 20 or 30 years. The other alternative is a cross-sectional design. Instead of following the same people over time, people from different age groups are tested at the same time. Children, teens, adults, and the elderly can be tested on the same day using the same materials. This method is fast, efficient, and cheap. The classic image of a scientist looking through a microscope is an apt description of histology. It includes the traditional task of tissue cultures, preservation, and staining techniques, but also the more modern tasks of chemical fixtures, freezing, dehydration, infiltration, and embedding. Neurochemistry is the analysis of organic compounds, neurotransmitters, neuromigration, and pathfinding. It's needed to understand the mechanisms of neurotransmitters, drugs, alcohol, and medications. Great precision is needed to perform surgery on the brains of live subjects. Stereotactic surgery allows a 3D visualization of the target region. A series of X, Y, and Z coordinates guide the probes of animal research or the surgical procedures needed to treat human disorders. The same system of orthogonal coordinates is used to biopsy a tumor, ablate a rogue heart cell, or inject a treatment for Parkinson's. Brain recording includes recording the electrical waves with, with the electroencephalograph, neuroimaging with magnetic resonance, and other techniques. Brain imagery is used for structural exploration, hunting for a tumor, and functional explanations, what part of the brain is being used now. Both are valuable for identifying damaged regions from Alzheimer's disease and strokes. Genes and genetic markers are also an important part of biological psychology.